Number 1 Hyperloop Hyperloop is a new form of ground transport currently in development by a number of companies, it could see passengers traveling at over 700 miles an hour in floating pod which races along inside giant low-pressure tubes, either above or below ground. A Hyperloop is a proposed high-speed transportion system for both public and goods transport. The idea was picked up by Elon Musk. There are two big differences between Hyperloop and traditional rail. Firstly, the pods carrying passengers travel through tubes or tunnels from which most of the air has been removed to reduce friction. This should allow the pods to travel at up to 750 miles per hour. Secondly, rather than using wheels like a train or car, the pods are designed to float on air skis, using the same basic idea as an air hockey table, or use magnetic levitation to reduce friction. What are the benefits of Hyperloop? Supporters argue that Hyperloop could be cheaper and faster than train or car travel, and cheaper and less polluting than air travel. They claim that it's also quicker and cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rail. Hyperloop could therefore be used to take the pressure off gridlocked roads, making travel between cities easier, and potentially unlocking major economic benefits as a result. Number 2 Air Yacht V2 Air Yacht V2 made from carbon fiber, the Air Yacht V2 essentially consists of two massive blimps powered by helium. And it was designed to be a billionaire's play toy. This electric foiling yacht concept is a sports car for the water. An Air Yacht is a private aircraft, usually a flying boat. Based on the designer's estimates, V2 can travel at top speeds of 100 knots, 115 miles per hour, 185 kilometers per hour, for 48 full hours. In the history of aviation, blimps were never quite famous for speed, so should Air Yacht V2 ever happen, it would be setting new records. That's a big if there, however. As with its shorter and slower sibling, the original Air Yacht can only max out 69 miles per hour, 111 kilometers per hour. Air Yacht V2 comes with the twin blimps filled with helium, solar panels throughout, light batteries, and eight counter-rotating electric motors of 950 horsepower each. The motors are for propulsion and for landing on water. Once the flying super yacht touches the water, it can only go as fast as 5 knots, 5.7 miles per hour, 9.2 kilometers per hour, which is as far from what you deem super yacht worthy performance as possible. The new air yacht concept, developed by the Italian design studio Pierpaolo Lazzarini, is the latest proof of this incredible capacity. As the name suggests, the new air yacht is both a yacht that can sail the sea and a private jet that can fly its owner across the world. Number 3. Airbus Pop-Up. The pop-up design is built around a small capsule about the size of a two-seat car cab. It's the one consistent feature between each mode of transport wheels and rotors would automatically attach to the capsule along the way. Ital Design and Airbus unveil Pop-Up, a trailblazing modular ground and air passenger concept vehicle system. During the 87th Geneva International Motor Show, Itel Design and Airbus World premiered Pop-Up, the first modular, fully electric, zero-emission concept vehicle system designed to relieve traffic congestion in crowded megacities. Pop-Up envisages a modular system for multimodal transportation that makes full use of both ground and airspace. The feasible concept is the result of Atel Design and Airbus joint reflection on how to address the mobility challenges of megacities achievable for a majority, which has become one of the most pressing issues for commuters in megacities worldwide. With traffic congestion projected to hugely increase by 2030, the companies decided to combine their engineering expertise to tackle how to best achieve a sustainable, modular and multimodal urban mobility system giving rise to the pop-up concept. Pop-up system consists of a three-layers concept. Number 4. Inside Ectolife The concept of the world's first-ever artificial womb facility has been unveiled. Called Ectolife, the facility can produce up to 30,000 babies every year. 
The use of the word produce is deliberate facility aims to give parents a wide range of tools to get a baby customized to their desires. Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility is just a concept for now, which offers a way for parents to produce customized babies. The concept is the brainchild of Berlin-based Hashem al Ghaili, a producer, filmmaker and science communicator and molecular biologist by trade. It offers parents to produce customized babies with the help of artificial wombs. An elite package would allow people to choose their baby's level of intelligence, height, hair, eye color, physical strength, and even skin tone. According to Al Ghaili, the artificial womb concept of ectolife would be life-changing. Number 5. Space Tourism Space tourism is human space travel for recreational purposes. 1. There are several different types of space tourism, including orbital, suborbital, and lunar space tourism. Space tourism is another niche segment of the aviation industry that seeks to give tourists the ability to become astronauts and experience space travel for recreational, leisure, or business purposes. Since space tourism is extremely expensive, it is a case of a very small segment of consumers that are able and willing to purchase a space experience. With the rapid growth of space tourism, traveling to outer space could soon be as easy as booking a flight to Europe. Experts even say that in just a matter of years, this industry could change the world, much like other NASA inventions, including real-life robots. Number 6 Hill HX-50 the British aviation outfit has unveiled what it claims is the world's first fully private helicopter. The brainchild of chief engineer Jason Hill, the new Hill HX-50 is designed specifically for private owners, rather than fleet operators. In fact, each new owner is invited to Hill's factory in the UK to work side by side with a team of engineers and production technicians to create a custom dream machine. Think of it as the ultimate DIY project. Each client can build up to 51% of the personal rotorcraft under the close supervision of professionals. Customization aside, the HX-50 is one hell of a helicopter. It's equipped with a three-blade rotor system and an in-house GT-50 turbo shaft. As for price, the HX-50 starts at roughly $648,000. 495,000 pounds. Number 7 Humanoid Hand V11. What would be your first reaction when you see a gray colored robotic hand mimicking your real hands, assuming that the reader is a human, movements and functions? You'd be shocked and spooked, right? Well, a robotics company in Poland has managed to create such an unbelievable artificial hand for real. The company Clone Robotics claims to have created the world's first biomimetic, artificial objects that behave similarly to natural objects that can grasp objects ranging from a tennis ball to an active drill machine, and that too with a human hand-like grip. The fingers, thumb, and internal muscles of the robotic hand look and function almost like a real human hand. A Polish robotics engineer has developed an incredible synthetic muscle arm and hand, attempting to mimic the complexity of the human body by making a dexterous but strong limb that is capable of lifting a dumbbell. Designed and built by Automaton Robotics, the limb is powered by electricity and uses hydraulics to lift impressive weights, all whilst looking like something straight out of Westworld. Number 8. Macrobat In a quest to bring sustainable mobility to Africa, South African startup Fractal unveils a hybrid bird plane with its concept Macrobat, the personal airplane is inspired by nature and is unlike anything that the industry has created before. The team promises a near-vertical takeoff and landing, even from unprepared terrain. How to fly the Macrobat the team at Fractal notes that its single-seater Macrobat bird plane can be operated as an aircraft, or like a drone, a bad word at the startup. The means that it can be piloted by a person, remotely piloted with a passenger, or remotely piloted with cargo only. Number 9. Autonomous Aerial Vehicle 
He aircraft can perform fully autonomous flight using the onboard advanced flight control system, intelligent navigation system, and a global positioning system, GPS. Ihang aims to work with local aviation authorities to establish an intelligent command and dispatch center to provide a reliable flight plan for the aircraft. The system's parameters can be monitored from the flight command and control center. The aircraft's flight path, critical flight parameters, and in-flight options are displayed on the tablet for passengers. Ihang flies their autonomous aerial vehicle with human passengers, reaction to a close encounter with an airliner, drone safety measures at the Olympics, drone video awards, drone package delivery by Airbus, and thoughts on cargo drones. Number 10 Ocean Wave Electricity Waves form as wind blows over the surface of open water in oceans and lakes. Ocean waves contain tremendous energy. The theoretical annual energy potential of waves off the coasts of the United States is estimated to be as much as 2.64 trillion kilowatt-hours, or the equivalent of about 64% of total U.S. utility-scale electricity generation in 2021. Utility-scale generation is from electric generators with at least 1 megawatt of generation capacity. The west coasts of the United States and Europe, and the coasts of Japan and New Zealand, have potential sites for harnessing wave energy. Many different methods and technologies for capturing and converting wave energy to electricity are under development. These methods include placing devices on or just below the surface of the water and anchoring devices to the ocean floor. Can you generate electricity from ocean waves? Devices called wave energy converters capture the energy from waves and turn it into electricity. Different approaches are used. Some devices sit beneath the water surface while others are anchored to the ocean floor. Another technique is to push the waves through a narrow channel, where they power a turbine. Wave power is the capture of energy of wind waves to do useful work, for example, electricity generation, water desalination, or pumping water. A machine that exploits wave power is a wave energy converter, WEC. Waves are generated by wind passing over the sea's surface. As long as the waves propagate slower than the wind speed just above, energy is transferred from the wind to the waves.